On today's video, I wanted to do something a little different. I wanted to rank the best SMGs in the game based on their time to kill. So we're going to go over a time to kill graph, their ranges, and we're also going to go over their best class setups. And we're going to talk about the attachments that actually matter on these weapons. We're going to do this based off of weapon data, you know, not just off of personal experience. And then we're going to factor in other things like practicality as well. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button to make your way back to more Call of Duty content and make sure to drop a like on this video if you do find this this video helpful at any point in the video so we're going to be using this graph here to be able to determine which smg actually has the lowest time to kill just a simple note here is the lower the bar is the better the time to kill so don't associate just because it's low it means it's bad so low is good and that's what we want and high is bad if that makes sense and as you can see here all the smgs are listed down here and they're color coordinated according to where we can associate this with it on the graph we're going to break it down by range we're going to break it down by close medium and long range now one thing have to say is to take the long range data with a grain of salt because smgs in general they're not really practical to be used at long range you know don't be one of those guys that's going to say hey you said that you know for example the mp5 was the best and fastest time to kill in the game but then you're over here using it at long range you know it just doesn't work that way the general range that i would recommend using smgs at would be at 30 meters at the most and maybe you know if you're feeling really good that day with your accuracy then maybe 40 meters taking a look right off the bat we can already tell from close range ksp is going to be the fastest time to kill for the smg but you know do not fall back on this data and say okay i'm going to use the ksp from now on up to close range ksp is a burst weapon so that means that if you're going up against another smg up at close range you may not have that reaction time nor that trigger finger to be able to take down your opponent while using the ksp you know it's just not practical in those type of situations if you miss your shots the ksp is going to be very unforgiving you know you have to be very accurate with your shots if you miss them, then you're probably going to lose that gunfight. Most of the SMGs here are very competitive under 10 meters. We've got the Milano, MP5, AK-74U, and the Bullfrog. So for the absolute best SMG, time to kill up underneath 10 meters i'm definitely gonna have to give this one to the mp5 or the milano now you're probably saying well what about that yellow bar it's ak-74u it's significantly lower than both of those smgs well you have to factor in that the range it stops out about right there so that corner right there that you see that is the range drop off you have more damage range with the mp5 and the milano so if you're using the ak-74u at that 10 meter range you see that the drop off is actually up here so that means that it's got a slower time to kill because again the bar Bar is above so that means that it's bad in order of ranking here for close range engagements you know up in your face type of stuff I would say the mp5 milano and then third will come in the bullfrog and then fourth will be the ak-74u don't count the ak-74u out just yet so moving along here to the mid range so i kind of classify mid range for smgs between that 10 to 20 meters so obviously here the bullfrog is the clear winner and the bullfrog is definitely a must use weapon if you haven't used it yet and the reason why i'm saying this is because i'm also factoring the practicality of the weapon you barely even need to reload your weapon it comes with an extended 85 round magazine just think about that really quick how many kills you can get with that weapon without even having to reload your weapon so also keep that in mind now the next <laughs> now now in second now now after the bullfrog at mid range now after the bullfrog now after the bullfrog at mid range we definitely have the mp5 ak-74u and the ksp so this is where i'm going to start to factor in the ksp because it is a little less unforgiving at that range because you can miss a couple shots you know take some cover whereas where you were under 10 meters you would literally be fighting for your life because they're right in front of you the damage range does go up for the milano which does increase its time to kill therefore making it the worst at mid range you will continue to see this trend as we move further down the range moving on to the final range 100 the clear winner is the ak-74u there is really no damage range drop off here and then second place we've got the mp5 and then after that we've got the ksp and then comes the bullfrog and then the milano so as far as ranking overall of the smgs and we're going to factor in practicality as well uh number five i'm going to have to give that to the ksp the ksp 
obviously it has a very very fast time to kill compared to the rest up to about this 12 meter range however it's just not practical like i said unless you are an experienced player and you're very confident in your shot so that's why i'm giving the ksp the rank number five and then for rank number four i'm gonna go with the milano the milano is fairly competitive up to close range here but then as you can see when you get into that mid range uh, up to about that long range that just kind of tells you that you're gonna lose a lot of gunfights when you're going up against something like the ak 74 u example and that's why i'm gonna drop the milano off at rank number four coming in at rank number three this is actually pretty difficult because the bullfrog ak 74 u and the mp5 are all fairly competitive i'm gonna give rank number three to the bullfrog because it has a drop off here at that 25 meter range and you know if you're gonna go up against somebody who's using an ak-74u once again and the mp5 then you're probably not going to do well against those other weapons in the game and you know that's what it all comes down to right you want to be able to win gunfights and that's what this video is about ranking at number two i'm going to go with the mp5 so the mp5 is the second best smg in the game yes it does have a very competitive time to kill with the ak standard for you but it does have more range at 10 meters versus the eight meters here from the ak 74 u most of your gunfights with an smg in cold war they're gonna happen between that 15 to 30 meter range anyway so that's why i'm gonna give the mp5 the second place in the overall rankings as far as fastest time to kill because as you can see here they are fairly competitive but the further you move down the line here that ends up going up and that's why the ak-74u is the number one best smg in the game obviously something that we've already known just you know based on the overall community feedback and player experiences etc but just seeing the data here for our own eyes it also gives us an insight as to why the ak-74u is the best so with the ksp i actually like the iron sights on it from the muzzle i'm going to be running with the sound suppressor this is a personal preference some people like it some people don't however you know with me i like to stay alive as long as possible that's why i put on a sound suppressor that way the enemy doesn't see me pinging on their mini map when i do fire my weapon uh for the barrel and one thing i also do want to clarify before i move on here is that a lot of these attachments are pretty much the same you know they they're all just maybe slightly named differently here but they all pretty much have the same type of stats to them so that's something i want to clarify all right so for the barrel you definitely want to go with the reinforced heavy barrel this one gives you the best of both worlds effective damage range as well as bullet velocity now you could take a look at all these other barrels here but the cons are just not worth using because this one for example it increases your recoil significantly both horizontal and vertically so you know that you want to be as accurate as possible we want to win gunfights here so that's why we're going to be using the reinforced heavy barrel all right so moving on to the magazine so this also is personal preference but for me if i were to outfit this weapon accordingly it would definitely be with either the salvo 48 round fast mag or the 42 round speed mag uh, again you know it's all personal preference do you want that minus 20 in ads or do you want that minus 25 in ads and then for the handle we're definitely going to go with the serpent wrap hands down one of the best attachments as far as this category goes and then for the stock i would definitely go with the raider stock because it also gives us the best of both worlds without really having to compromise the overall ability of the weapon now if i were to use the gunfighter to maximize all the attachments possible starting with the optic i would definitely go with the mill stop reflex this one is a pretty good side in my opinion or the cobra red dot and then for the body 100 no question you got to use the target team spotlight this just allows you to see opponents in front of you without even having an ads it just exposes their position on the map under barrel you could really go with anything here but if i were you i would definitely choose something that has the least amount of con i would probably just go with the front grip honestly it has no cons to it or patrol grip for more movement speed uh bruiser grip i feel like it's not really necessary you know people don't really melee too much in this game anyway all right so moving on to the bullfrog so for the bullfrog iron sights are pretty good on this one as well i do like the iron sights of course we're gonna go with that sound suppressor and then we're gonna go with the vdv reinforced so this is what i was talking about we all have the same attachments on all these guns just you know named differently and then for the magazine again you can run with the 85 fast round magazine here maybe your accuracy is not that good so you're gonna go with the 85 round fast mag so that you can have more bullets to work with if you got a pretty good shot then you can definitely go with either the 65 round speed mag or just the fast mag the default magazine comes with 50 rounds as is and I feel like that's sufficient enough so if you can just reload your weapon a little bit faster with no cons to it 
then the fast mag is definitely okay in my book handle once again we're gonna go with that serpent wrap and then for stock we're gonna go with the kgb skeletal stock so uh, like i said as you notice the names are different but the stats are pretty much the same as far as the other weapons go in the game so this is what i would definitely run on the bullfrog and then as far as the other attachments go if you want to run more attachments on your weapon with the gunfighter uh with the gunfighter wild card you can run the same exact ones you know tiger team spotlight here or with the underbarrel you can run with the foregrip or with the optic you know you can run with the mill stop or the cobra you know it just really depends on your personal preference there i'm personally a big fan of the mulatto and has a pretty good ads and pretty good movement speed as well so it's a very good gun for rushing even though regardless that time to kill is not as fast as the other smgs but although it is still very fun to use so again we're going to be running with the sound suppressor barrel is going to be that reinforced heavy barrel and then for the magazine you can go with the 55 round fast mag or you can go with the 45 round speed mag depending on your taste handle is going to be serpent wrap and then stock again is going to be the raider stock all right and for the mp5 mp5 sound suppressor barrel is going to be the reinforced heavy and then for the magazine again personal preference you can go with it whatever you want but i'm going to go with the 40 round speed mag and then for the handle again serpent wrap and then stock is going to be the raider stock last but not least we have the ak74u once again sound suppressor barrel is going to be the vdv reinforced magazine is going to be the 40 round speed mag or whatever you want then again take into consideration the negatives that come with these magazines and then for the handle we're going to be using the serpent wrap and then for the stock we're going to run with that kgb skeletal stock all right and there you have it guys let me know down below in the comments how you would have ranked these smgs from worst to best i would really like to know your thoughts you know did you feel like the data that you saw translates to how the weapon actually feels in game when using different smgs in the game i really i'm really curious to know your thoughts down below in the comments make sure to drop a like if you did enjoy or found this video helpful and make sure to subscribe if you're brand new around here join turbo nation today make it official and make sure to turn on notifications and i'll see you guys in the next one let's go baby